What's up guys? So if you are trying to use a ruckus access point without a ruckus zone controller, okay? In order to do that, you are going to first have to download and update the firmware on the access point so that it can work without the ruckus zone controller, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give you some steps I'm not going to shoot a video for you. There's no other videos out there, so follow these steps carefully. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to put a static IP on your laptop of 192.168.0.2. Subnet 255.255.255.0. Default gateway 192.168.0.1. Next, you're going to connect your laptop and the Ruckus access point to a uh, power over ethernet switch that'll power up your ruckus box and it'll get both that ruckus box and your computer connected through that switch, okay? Next, you're gonna open your browser and navigate to 192.168.0.1. If it says uh, bad cipher or error connecting, incompatible cipher, stuff like that, in order to get past that, you will search the internet for an old version of the Safari browser, okay? Safari does not have the same requirements as far as the version of TLS and whatnot, so it'll let you log in. Anyway, let's get right back to it. Once you get into the management of the uh, access point, you're gonna see there's no option to enable wireless. It's gonna tell you that it won't work without the zone controller. So you'll probably need to first reset this access point to its factory default. All right, once it's factory default, you're gonna log back in the same way as I outlined uh, just a moment ago. By the way, the login credentials, uh, the username is super, all small, all small letters, okay, super. The password is SP hyphen A-D-M-I-N, okay? So after you've reset your Ruckus access point to factory and you've logged into it, you will need to update the firmware. You do that under maintenance upgrade, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you what type of firmware you need to get. You need to get online and you need to download the standalone firmware from Ruckus. When you download the standalone firmware, it's gonna come in a zip file with about 100 different standalone firmwares. Look at them carefully. One of them is going to be the model number of your access point None of the others will. If you use the wrong one, it'll turn your access point into a useless brick that will never ever work again, will not be able to rescue it, okay? So choose your correct one. And then you're going to go to the upgrade tab, choose local, and then you're going to select your new firmware and run that update, okay? It takes a long time. These ruckuses update slowly. Eventually, you'll be able to log back in. Again, if you cannot log into it, because of the type of SSL or TLS, download an old version of the Safari browser and that will log in no matter what, okay? Again, the username is super, the password is sp-admin. Once you've got the firmware updated and you've got logged in, at that point you should be able to enable the radios and configure your SSIDs and your passwords. Um, sorry if I sound like I'm talking to you like you're a child right now. I don't know what happened, but uh, it's just been a long day and my brain's a little scrambled. Anyway, uh, I really hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, post them below. I will do my best to help you. Um, by the way, this is what your screen will look like after you get the standalone uh, firmware installed. You'll notice that I have the option to enable and disable my radios. Normally, you would have this right here, which is very discouraging. But with the standalone firmware, you've got a button right here that says radio 2.4. You can enable it and then you can go to wireless. And whoa, look at this, I can create a wireless name. I can give it a, a password. Actually, I don't know where the password is. Where is it at? Uh, anyway, you get the ID, you get the idea. Get that standalone firmware, you should be good to go.